After more than two years of mostly closed university campuses, many of you may have forgotten that campus spaces are wonderful for getting out of the house and focusing on your schoolwork. The library in particular is an important place in the lives of students. Libraries are much more than book storage. They also house computers, printers, study tables, group use rooms, and helpful librarians and staff, among other things. Consider staking out your favorite spot early in the term and getting into the routine of studying before or after your classes. Once you enter the library, it may appear a bit small. This is because the large majority of the library's collections and study spaces are up on the fifth floor. You can get to this hidden part of the library by climbing the spiral staircase to the top or taking the elevator up to five. While there are indeed more study spaces on the fifth floor, if you want to study near the library entrance, library services, or the reference collection, or if you're here to use one of the library's desktop computers or group study rooms, then the fourth floor is definitely for you. There are a total of 62 computer workstations in the library, mostly on the fourth floor. To log in, you'll need your web advisor username and password. You can also send documents to printers from any of these computers. Unfortunately, wireless printing from laptops is not available at this time. Printing requires access to your printing account as well as cash to pay. Login information for your printing account, also called your Equitrack account, should have been sent to your student email. If you encounter any problems with the computers or printers, please see staff for assistance. Food is not allowed in the library on either the 4th or 5th floor. There are lots of great places to eat on campus, including several cafeterias, so please take your food there. You can bring water, coffee, tea, or other beverages into the library as long as they are in a spill-proof container. Whatever you bring along with you to the library, please take a minute to clean up your space before you leave. Don't leave bits of paper or pencil shavings on the tables. Throw them away. Library books can be placed in the return bins. Clear the table and push in your chair to leave an inviting space for the next student. The fifth floor of Centennial Hall is broken into three noise zones. A collaborative zone for working in groups and having conversations. A quiet zone to study mostly in silence but where some quiet conversation is tolerated. And a silent zone where everyone is expected to remain completely silent. Please use the zone that's best suited to what you're doing and respect the noise level of the zone that you're in. The library is meant to provide a safe and comfortable space for all students, faculty, staff, and community users. However, because we're a public space, we still recommend you take certain steps to safeguard yourself. First, don't leave your belongings unattended, especially not valuables like your laptop or phone. While rare, there have been instances of theft in the past, so please take care of your things. The library is always staffed during opening hours, and there are almost always other people around, but some of the more secluded parts of the library, while they provide wonderful quiet spaces to think and study, can feel a bit uneasy for some students. If this is you, then you may want to look for a space with a few other people nearby, or perhaps bring a study buddy along. If you ever feel uncomfortable or in danger in the library or any place on campus, move to a safe area and contact campus security. As I said before, the library is not just a place to store books. There are many kind and helpful librarians and library staff to guide you. If you have any questions about the library spaces, collections, or services, please don't hesitate to ask us. We have two service desks, both located on the fourth floor. The circulation desk, which is located right next to the library entrance, can help with directions, account problems, technology and printing, and other similar issues. It's also the place where you bring books you'd like to borrow. The reference desk, located in the middle of the fourth floor, can help you find information like books and articles related to your research assignments or anything that you're interested in. After so much time away, you may have forgotten what a great, inspiring space we have in our library. Or perhaps you've just started as a student and haven't yet had the chance to visit the library. In any case, please know that the library is there for you in more ways than one. We hope to see you here very soon.